Dude, seriously. What's up guys? So today we are going to be talking about multi-factor authentication and how hackers bypass it. So first off, what is multi-factor authentication? Simply put, basically it is a secondary measure of protecting your account. So you know whenever you log into your banking account or your Microsoft Office account or sometimes your Gmail and your Facebook, you would put in your email address, you would put in a password and then it would ask you for a, an OTP. That OTP is your multi-factor authentication. It's there for if example an attacker or a hacker manages to get your email address and your password that's the that's the second line of defense that's okay you've got my password you've got my email address but i have the otp so you're not getting in but there is a way that hackers can bypass this through a simple phishing attack so phishing attacks are basically when an attacker will send you an email that has a little link in it and they try and trick you to click the link they present you with a fake login page and they're trying to steal your credentials okay but today we're going to look at how they can use this to bypass your multi-factor authentication. Let's dive straight in, shall we? Okay, so for an attacker to set up this attack, they're going to need two things. One, a virtual private server that is in the cloud with a publicly accessible IP address. I have built an Ubuntu box sitting in London with this IP address over here. And then they're going to need a domain. So I went and bought and registered a domain called cyberfish.xyz and that is the domain that we are going to use for this specific attack. So the exploit kit that we're going to use is EvilGenix. Um, I'm not going to talk you guys through how to set it up and how to configure it. There's a ton of tutorials and there's a ton of documentation already on the internet around that. So I'm not going to go through that. Today we're just going to be talking about how this attack works and then do a demonstration. So you're going to open up EvilGenix. Evil Gen X is just basically a man in the middle framework that allows us to steal passwords and authentication tokens of the people that we fish. So if you see over here, we have a couple of fishlets or phishing pages um, that, that are in by default. We've got LinkedIn, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's TikTok and Office 365, which is the one we are going to be focusing on today. Why? Because a lot of businesses, most businesses use Microsoft and, Office, and the Office 365 suite. So that is what we're going to be focusing on today. So we need to create what's called a lure. A lure is a URL that is generated by this exploit kit. And that is what we're going to send to our victim users. So let's quickly create one. Office 365. Enter, there we go, we get a little ID with it. And then we're just gonna get the URL of what we have just created. So here's the URL. This is what an attacker would put into an email and trick you to click on it. So you would click on the email, it would take you to a fake login page, you would type in all your details, and then the attacker would be able to get the details. So let me show you guys how this works. So let's imagine we get sent this link, and we click it in our email inbox and then it will open up this page for us over here. Okay, so if you've ever used Microsoft Office 365, you can see this is identical. It is exactly the same um, as Microsoft Office 365. That's what makes us so difficult. If you have a look here in the top corner, this is your giveaway. Always check the URL of what you are clicking. Obviously, Microsoft's website is not going to be called login.cyberfish.xyz, okay? So that is your telltale sign. You're gonna to have to look out for that when you click on links. So let's go ahead and let's go russell.safezone.fun, okay? Oh, at safezone.fun. There we go. It's gonna bring me now into my password. So I'm gonna say this is a very long password, one, two, three. Please never end a password with one, two, three, by the way. And now it's asking for the OTP. Okay, so let's get my cell phone out. Authenticator, open it up. So now we go 205918, verify. Saying no, don't want to stay signed in. 
Now we are logged into our Office 365 or we think we are logged into our Office 365. Let's go back to our hackers machine. Okay, so now I'm done playing the victim. Let's close this, this up here. There we go. As you can see over here, we have everything we need. The username is russell at safezone.fun. The password is, this is a very long password, one, two, three. But because we have multi-factor authentication enabled, this isn't enough because if I go and type in the email address and the password, it's still going to ask me for the OTP. But we have intercepted authorization tokens. So let's quickly pause there. What is an authorization token? So simply, whenever you log into a website, the website and you've logged in correctly, the website will give you what's called a token. It's a bunch of numbers and letters that generally don't make sense to normal people. But basically it's a token that the website gives you to say, you've signed in correctly, you've given us the right username and the password and your OTP, you're allowed to be here. So that helps the website identify you if you close your browser or if you refresh the page and have to log in every five seconds. So that's what we have stolen and we're gonna replay those and I'm gonna show you how we do that. So we're gonna just basically open up sessions, open up sessions 51, you can see that's the one at the end there. This here, this garbage, this mumbo jumbo over here, this is the token, the cookie. So we're going to copy this. Now we're gonna to go to a new browser, okay? The attacker will basically open up a new browser we will then go to login.microsoftonline.com, okay? This is just a normal Microsoft Online page. And then using a cookie editor extension such as this one, it's called cookie editor, you're gonna basically go ahead and import and you're gonna paste the cookie here that we copied and say import and then refresh the page. Once you've refreshed the page, you are going to be logged in as Russell at safezone.fun. And so look, generally these authentication to tokens do have a time to live. So after X amount of hours, they will be invalid, but a couple of hours is more than enough to do some damage if somebody manages to do this to your online banking account, your Facebook, your Twitter, or whatever the case may be. So. There we go. That is how hackers are bypassing multi-factor authentication. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and have yourselves a rad day. Cheers.